how Node.js um, does vulnerability. So you uh, essentially say that a vulnerability is found on Node Core, and this vulnerability gives you um, uh, needs a fix, okay? So typically this gets looked at very quickly, couple of days, typically hours. Today I responded a couple, and that were reported today. So uh, after that is done, um, it's in the queue of tasks to look at. Somebody typically start taking them and uh, opening PRs. And typically we need to open a pull request for main and for all the other releases that we got. So today, if there are new vulnerabilities coming and it's affecting all releases, we'll need to ship a fix for 21, 20, and 18, which are our three supported lines, okay? Then, after we have done that, we ship um, um, uh, after we have done that, we ship a lot of uh, after we have we have set up that there is a, a, the concept of the security steward, which essentially is the coordinator of the release. Because there are th three releases to ship, can be even four sometimes, or maybe even five in some cases, I don't remember, we've done a lot. So we have three three or four releases to do. So basically we need to line up releases. So each one line as a person that assembled the release, I don't know, assembling a release is probably, a, I don't know, a day of work maybe for somebody. I don't know, Brian, you can, you've done it several times. I'm not a releaser, so I'm not, I'm not precise enough to do that kind of work, okay? But, um, it, it's that's the setup okay at some point I will probably need to get on board another releaser uh, you know um, and after we have done all the prep work and everybody's ready okay we send out a mailing list uh, a, a notification to node to um, the our security mailing list and with the security mailing list uh, you get saying next week you will get a node.js security release that is going to fix uh, several high three high two medium one low vulnerability that's what you got so next week you will know we tell you will know at that point in time we lock ci so ci now is locked is blocked in okay nobody else can access ci because we nobody can access ci minus the tsc and releases because then we are because we are the per because everybody that can look into CI will see the patches that we are testing. So then we have all the PRs open. Let's say that there are 10 vulnerabilities for all lines, which means that there are 30 PRs that needs landing and need full CI runs to land essentially. So we run the CI, we land them on our private branch, then um, release lines are uh, prepared and we run CIs for them and if everything passes and there are no regressions, there is nothing, we ship, um, uh, uh, you get a nice release typically a lot of the time because this, the, that last week is the only time where we first run CI on the patches. It might be that, for example, AIX is, is uh, uh, yes, we run them privately, yes. Um, it's the first time you. Um, it's the first time CI uh, ended up. Um, uh, we can see some bugs. So if those cases, then we ship the. In those cases, we need to rework, and then the security release gets delayed. So the important part is if there is a public CV in Node. Be certain that there is a, a version of Node that fixes it every single time. It's a very robust system, okay? There's no disclosed CVEs without a patch. So, yay, okay? They're very active on this. So, hopefully, all of this will clarify how we run Node.js releases uh, for security.